Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and I'm finally here. It's, it's taken me a couple of weeks but I'm here. It's time to start Ashes to Ashes. I am very excited. Um, a couple of things. I assume that maybe a couple of you will be new. So hello, welcome. My name is Mary Claire. Thank you so much for joining me. Second things, if you are regular, the backdrop has changed. Thirdly, thirdly, it is flipping and boiling. I mean like boiling. I haven't even brushed my hair, guys. I'm not I'm 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 always real with you, I'm always honest, haven't even brushed my hair. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's just the way it is. We're still also like mid house renovation, hence why I've got nothing on anything. So I don't know where my hairbrush is, but YOLO. Just gonna roll with it. I am so excited. I was in the car um, yesterday and they started playing um, Life on Mars and I was like, <gasps> and I was like singing along and it made me really miss Life on Mars. So here we are, time to start Ashes to Ashes. This has probably been one of my most requested um, shows and I don't really know what to expect. Well, I kind of do, I guess. That was a silly thing to say. I know Keely Hawes is in it. Um, I know that Philip Glenister is still in it. And I think Ray and Chris are still in it. I'm literally going off thumbnails that I've seen. But I don't know what, is Keely Hawes character like in the same situation that um, Sam was? I don't know, I, I don't know. But let's see, because I, I think it'll be weird seeing this show without Sam, even though it's technically not the same show, it's got a different title. Um, yeah, we'll see, is it still the 70s? I don't know. Oh, this intro is very, um, Morbid? She's going to do it to find out, maybe. She's going to fall in the river. Oh no. I help people, Carter. I help people who are trapped. I help them to find an escape route. You stop looking at me. Oh no. You Bill. You got your mother's eyes, Alex. What? Oh. Oh, mother trucker. Well, this changes everything. <gasps> Girl. I mean, she's brave for, for stepping in. Oh, fuck. 
restrictions. I had dealers on every street corner. Things went wrong. Do you want to talk about that? You, 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 you feel trapped. I mean, I can, I can understand that. Those officers were itching for a fatality outcome. <laughs> What the hell? I didn't think he was going to shoot her. Oh my goodness. She literally woke up in the same space. She's a prostitute. Let's get out of control. Let's go. Let's put that gun. This has got to be the 80s. Saying, this is one bloke you don't want letting his load off. You choose a path of destruction driven by illogical pride and delusional self importance. You're enjoying me a fleeting sense of power before being happy. But where's Sam? Because Sam went back to this time. A fatality outcome is what these officers are after. making me feel emotional. My reputation precedes me. Please tell me Sam and Annie had like moved somewhere to have children and be happy. Ask about Sam. Oh my gosh. Ringo, 
you'll find that won't win his mind. Why did Chris go up the stairs? Ooh. Chris. I'd have just fired the shot before saying that I was there. These three, honestly. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I feel like we need to do a debrief. Okay, okay. It's so weird because I have Life on Mars to compare to. So the opener was interesting, wasn't as, I don't know if that will change. Um, Cause you know, with Life on Mars, it was like, my name's Sam Tyler and I blah, 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 blah. I don't know whether that will change going forth. Interesting that the character of Drake has a daughter because that I think changes things. Very interesting that she was studying Sam's case. Wasn't expecting that. I'm devastated that Sam died. Like devastated. What's happened to Annie? They're now based in London. And I said during that, oh, you know, like, well, how has Jean and his whole team moved down? But if Jean's not real, then they could be anywhere. Is Jean for Jeannie? Um, I've only ever seen Keely Hawes in like serious roles. So I go going in, I was a little bit like, I don't I don't know how how she's gonna be. She's incredible. Her character's got this like sassiness. But I think because she knows of Sam's case, she knows what she's got to do. Um, she looks incredible. We're in the 80s and I think the music's as good so far. That's probably going to change. Um, it's so weird. It's like an upgraded version of Life on Mars. But Life on Mars was incredible as what it is. Or what it, yeah, what it is. Does that make sense? Like, it's just so, it was just so weird watching something that, had very clear parallels to life on Mars, but was so independently itself. Like, I guess you wouldn't really need to have seen, I guess you kind of could just start Ashes to Ashes without having seen life on Mars. Just, there was just so many moments with the three of them, like on the boat, and I think Gene is definitely influenced by Sam Tyler. I think maybe he sees Sam as like his hero. I assume they became really good friends. Um, and you can tell that he does things a bit more by the book, right? So. It's just, it's just, I really enjoyed it. I was, I was a bit nervous going in because I, adored life on Mars and there's three series I think of this which 
I haven't got a clue. We had all the weirdness, the clown, don't know what that's about. 1981 is the year her parents died, so maybe she's got to solve that because that's like what Sam did with his dad like disappearing. There we go. First one down. Um, let me know what you, you thought of that episode. Obviously, no spoilers. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought of that opener. And um, I will see you next week for episode two.